Sharad from class 7th here at Imperial Convent School to share some light on the topic how gas heaters cause suffocation. As we know that in Kashmir we have to face winters every year and in these winters there is a special period of 40 days known as the Chilai Kalan. In the Chilai Kalan the temperature dips up to minus 10 degrees Celsius, the water freezes, the water pipes freeze, the cold waves spread everywhere and in nutshell our lives become very difficult. Traditionally we used to have mud houses in which there were dance to warm up ourselves and warm up the whole house. Today we have cemented houses in which we build hammams. Though hammams warm up the room quite well but they are very expensive. To warm up our individual selves we use kangris and warm clothes to warm up our own selves. But presently we use CHS, central heating system that not only heats up a single room but the whole building. The heating appliances that we use nowadays are blowers, electrical heaters, gas heaters. Now I will tell you why you and me use gas heaters. Gas heaters are commonly used because they provide efficient, fast and often cost effective heating due to the quick heat output from burning gas. The key reasons that you use gas heaters are quick heating. When we lit a gas heater up, within no time the room is heated. Cost effectiveness. The gas heaters are very cheap than other heating appliances like hammams. Next is reliability during power outage. As we know in Kashmir we cannot rely on electricity as there is a shortage of electricity. The gas heaters don't use any kind of electricity so it's best for power outages in Kashmir. Constant heat output. We can set the heat that comes out from the gas heaters on our own well. Void availability. The gas heaters are available everywhere from a small town or village to big cities. Next is that. I will tell you that why it is dangerous to use a gas heater in a closed room. As you know that gas heaters release carbon dioxide with some unburned gases known as carbon monoxide which is poisonous. When this carbon monoxide mixes up with our hemoglobin, it causes carboxyhemoglobin to form. Carboxyhemoglobin cannot carry oxygen and carbon dioxide which leads to anoxemia which is suffocation. Now I will show you what happens if anyone uses a gas heater inside a confined or a closed space without any kind of ventilation. Now I will tell you how dangerous it is to use a gas heater inside a confined space or a room without ventilation. We will take this candle as a burning gas heater and this jar as a closed room. As we know that oxygen supports burning. So the person sleeping inside the room will also need oxygen and the gas heater will also need oxygen. As you can see the gas heater extinguished. So the air present inside the room is no more now and the, uh, the, the air, the gas that is present inside the room is carbon monoxide which is a poisonous gas and now the person sleeping inside the room will inhale the carbon monoxide. As I previously said when the carbon monoxide mixes with your hemoglobin it, caused, it ca causes the formation of carboxyhemoglobin which leads to suffocation. Now the person inside the room will inhale carbon monoxide and apparently die. The examples or the precautions you can take to save yourself or avoid this kind of tragedy is that you can buy a good quality gas heater. Good quality gas heater means you have to search for those gas heaters which release the least amount of carbon monoxide or unburned gases. Now you should burn the uh, gas heater inside a fully ventilated room. Fully ventilated room means that you can leave two or one windows open and a door open. The, uh, the most important thing you can do is to switch off the gas heater before you go to bed. What does it do? Many people do that. They close the windows then close the gas heater. No. What you should do is close the gas heater first. Leave the windows open for a little while and then close and then you can go to bed. Next is that 
you can use the gas heater in a bigger room. But if that is not possible, just you can leave some windows open in a smaller room. That will work. The most important thing that you can do is try not to be over smart. This is the thing that many Kashmiri people do. For example, they use kangris and gas heaters. They go to bed with a kangri and a gas heater on. They will say that we will just close the gas heater in a few seconds or burn out the kangri in a few seconds. But no, it, uh, they say this until they fall asleep with a uh, kangri in their bed and the gas heater on. The, uh, the last uh, precaution you can take is a little expensive, but nothing is expensive than your lives. That is a smoke detector. You can install a smoke detector in your house. Lastly, I would like to conclude this topic by saying that don't blame any devices for hazardous travel. You can stop this all by your responsibility. Thank you and have a safe winter ahead.